How the heck did we meet? We'll tell you the story. So whenever we tell this story, we usually say that we met through World of Warcraft, but I guess to be technical about it, we should say we met because of World of Warcraft. Technically, we met on a dating website called Geek to Geek. I was using a free account and browsing profiles when I found Jins, and the first thing I thought when I saw her profile picture, I'm not trying to get any brownie points here, I swear, is that she is way too beautiful to not already be taken. Um, but then I started reading her profile and found out that she really had World of Warcraft, so I decided to send her a message. Luckily, I was using a paid account, so I could see messages from free accounts. And what was his amazing pickup line that won my heart? What level and class do you play in WoW? In retrospect, it wasn't the best line, but I was dumb and 20-something, and, you know, it was, I had no game. Despite that, I decided to respond, and we chatted for a while, and we had our first date in... Stormwind! Can you tell that we're nerds? Is it painfully obvious yet? So I had played Horde since vanilla, and this was about Wrath of Lich King. I wasn't very gung-ho about my faction, but Eric was very passionate about his. For the Alliance! <laughs> I guess I liked him enough to make this switch. So, I like Horde, I like Alliance, I say that I bleed purple. So we both made level 1 humans and laid next to the fountain in Stormwind in front of the auction house and chatted for hours. It was really awesome time. Uh, and then we decided to go on a real date. And I had already been pressing Jin with my, you know, fierce loyalty to the Alliance and my great pickup lines already, right? So I had to push it a little bit further and tell her that I had no car. I seriously asked my dad if that was something I should be concerned with and he said it shouldn't matter. Larry with the assist. My father-in-law was my first wingman. My dad was right and I agreed to pick him up. I asked him for his address, and I put that address in MapQuest. Yes, we're old. We get it. And I replied back to him with the link to the MapQuest results. I saw that and was like, why is she sending me the link to the directions? Did she not remember that I don't have a car? And then I clicked on the link and found that we lived in the same neighborhood. <sighs> That's crazy. We met in the vastness of the internet and lived straight down the street from each other. What? We watched TV, hung out on the couch, chatted, had dinner, you know, regular date stuff. And then I continued to impress Jen by embarrassing myself. We were sitting in her car in front of my place and I asked her if I could kiss her. And we had our first kiss. Yeah. Then I sat back and said, so does this make you my girlfriend now? Okay, you gotta understand, my last girlfriend was like six years before that when I was in high school. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to adult. And my response probably wasn't any better because it was something along the lines like, oh honey, that's not how this works. <laughs> it was off to a great start, right? Yeah. I was already having a hard time with the fact that she was older than me. It was just some weird issue I had back then based on some insecurity, I'm sure. But her response, I found it, though deserving, still condescending, so the date ended there and it ended kind of weird. We hung out several times after that and Eric finally asked me to be his girlfriend after an acceptable amount of time. Oh. And I said yes, of course. After about three months of... <laughs> three months of dating, I proposed to Jen with a $30 ring from Kohl's. I was making Kraft macaroni and cheese, hashtag not sponsored, and I said yes. A few weeks before she had helped me pick out that ring, but there was a good reason. She had inherited the diamond from her grandmother's ring and we wanted to get it put into a new setting. 10 months later, we got married in 2010 out in the Texas Hill Country and we've been happily married ever since. Also, our wedding was Zelda themed, so that was extra points. Um, as you can tell, we are complete nerds. We love playing video games. And so in February of 2019, we decided to start streaming on Mixer. We have had such a great time streaming and we have loved every single second of it. So if you guys want to try to catch our streams, we stream on Mixer.com slash Generic Live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Sundays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Obviously, why would we change time zones for Sundays? We hope to see you guys there. That's our story. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on Generic Live Offline, our YouTube channel. And yeah, we hope to see you in Mixer. We'll catch you next time. Bye!
<laughs> How did we meet? We'll tell you the story. 